All right, let's try this. Best examples of gaslighting. Well, if you were paying attention, you would know what gaslighting is. I've already done videos of it. If you were listening to me, don't you think you're overreacting a little bit? You're being irrational, actually, even asking. Why are you asking me about gaslighting when you should know what gaslighting is? I think what you need to do is learn to communicate better. You can't even take a joke, so calm down. Maybe you're just a little oversensitive. Every time you feel something and you address it to somebody who's supposed to be emotionally responsible to you, instead of being emotionally responsible and hearing what you're saying, they're trying to convince you that you don't even, you never heard that. They never did that. You're sitting there with text messages from somebody else and you say, what is this? And they go, who are you to look at my text messages? Those don't exist. Those aren't even my texts. That must be somebody else. What gaslighting is, is making you feel a little crazy about something you already know. But as an empath, it's even worse. To a healthy person, they would walk away. Why are we so subject to gaslighting is the better question, and I'm certainly not putting down your question. I appreciate it. But I think we need to understand why we fall for it. And here is one perspective of why. If your parents didn't know you were an empath and you were three years old and they're going out and that usual babysitter's coming over that spends the whole time talking to her friends or her boyfriend, you're scared. You're three years old. The people that care for you are leaving the house. The house is dark and there's chick doesn't take care of you. So you say, mommy, don't leave. Daddy, don't leave. I'm scared. And what do they do? They come to you and they say, you're not scared. There's nothing there. It's all right. The babysitter's here. Everything's okay. But you know you're scared. You're three years old. But because you have empathy and your parents didn't know it, you feel their comfort. And somehow being scared is okay because you're feeling okay, feeling their okayness with this. So you start thinking, yeah, I'm not scared because you feel it from them. And this translates later in life when you do something wrong. And here you are and you're trying to explain the circle. Well, all my friends were, I didn't want to be an asshole. And they're like, well, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? They disqualified the fact that you had to do this or you would have been an asshole in school. This is where we learned how to gaslight from our own parents, gaslighting us and not paying attention to what we know is real. That's why you're susceptible for it, because you count on other people's feelings with a huge amount of empathy, which I'll do another video, to believe what you believe. The narcissist knows this is pathological and lies straight to your face, and you feel it's the truth, and you start thinking you're crazy. I hope that helped.